Hello everyone, this is Manish and in this video I am going to show you how to install the Azure Active Directory Connect and to configure hybrid Azure AD join. I will also going to uh, going to tell you about that the requirement that why exactly we need the Azure AD Connect, what exactly is the purpose and because the part of the Intune Learning look requires you to understand that why exactly we need the Azure AD Connect. So uh, let's first talk, talk about what exactly is the Azure AD Connect. I will be just going through in a very will be explaining in a very easy to understand manner but i will highly recommend you to go through the microsoft document to go through in detail that what exactly azure ad connect but just let's start to understand in an easy to understand language so azure ad connect is simply a tool which used to sync your on-premises identity to the azure directory directory so it can be it could be the users devices group anything so once your Azure AD, AD Connect is sync and the installation, everything is set up, then we can you can go and do the hybrid Azure AD join setup configuration as well. So hybrid Azure AD join is a concept which is in a layman language, if I say it is a domain join and Azure AD join. So if your device is, if you already have the Active Directory, it means you are already domain join. But if you wanted to use the flexibility of doing Azure AD join, then you have to go with the hybrid Azure AD join uh, thing and which requires the Azure AD Connect installation. So what is the benefit? So it's a single identity which can be used for your on-premises applications to for your Microsoft 365 Office 365 applications and other cloud applications as well. So the benefit of Azure AD Connect is, and I, I would say the hybrid Azure AD a joint configuration is that you are going to use the infrastructure from the on-premises as well as from the cloud so it means that you can keep on using your group policies as well as you can control it through the Azure Active Directory or via or we can say once it is enrolled you can control it via Intune as well let's see what exa exactly the steps we need to follow to do all this stuff the very first thing is I would recommend to create a service account with the uh, the sync account which will be used for the Azure AD. So once that is done, uh, that account should be having a permission for, with hybrid administrator. That is the one which is required to configure the Azure AD Connect. Of course, you need to have the enterprise uh, global admin account as well because that will be used for uh, once for the installation purpose. Second is that we are going to download the Azure AD Connect and we'll be going through the installation and then the final thing will be configuring the hybrid Azure AD. So one important thing I would say that to configure the UPN suffix name using the Active Directory Domains and Trust. So I would say this should be the very first step before doing anything else. So why actually we need to do the UPN suffix name? Let's understand. For example, if you have Azure Active Directory, your account is ready. So it will be having your domain on the on microsoft.com means that domain that's a subdomain on the microsoft website so it means for example it's mbcloudtraining.onmicrosoft.com for my account and i have the active directory domain with the name manman.com so if i'm not configuring the upn suffix let's see what's the impact the users what what i'm going to create on the uh, with the users which i'm going to create on the on on premises when it is going to sync to the cloud, it will be showing as user1 at the mbcloudtraining.onmicrosoft.com But if I am configuring the UPN suffix my with my own custom domain, it will be showing something like user1 at customdomain.com So this is what we want. So any domain which we own, which is already registered with the DNR, DNS registrar, we can go and do the thing. So you can just follow the link if you wanted to know that how to you know verify and configure the custom domain let's go forward okay now let's jump to the domain controller which i own so the very first thing is i'm going to configure the upin suffix so for that you have to launch the active directory domains and trust right click and go to the properties here i'm going to add the domain which i own so my domain name is endpointgi.com so you can only do this thing if you already uh, uh, own, owning this uh, domain. Once you have this domain and if you click on the alternate UPIN suffix, click on add, apply, OK. In my previous video, I showed you that uh, how to uh, configure the custom domain. So 
that is going to help you to make sure that how what we did in the Azure Active Directory and through the DNS register how we uh, added that custom domain. Okay, so I have created few user accounts also, the test accounts. Let, let's have a look. It's showing us user one, user two. So now adding the UPN suffix, see the benefit what I got. If I go to the account, I can see the endpoint geek.com is showing over here. So once it is synced, it is going to have the user name with my custom domain. So this is the thing. So I can see the through drop down, drop down I have two uh, options available at manban.com, which is my the on-premises domain. Now another one, the custom endpoint geek.com. So I'm completely going to get rid of that on microsoft.com custom domain. That's it. Let's log on to the uh, my Azure portal. I have logged on to my to the Azure portal. Let's go to the, the Azure Active Directory and users. So the very first thing is I'm going to create a user account for the service account for the sync account, and we'll be assigning the hybrid administrator permission to adding the role for this account. Hybrid identity administrator. This is the account which will be used during the Azure AD Connect setup. Let's click on create. Yep, so the account is created. Now we are good to go with the installation of Azure AD Connect. So this is the link through which you can download the Azure AD Connect. I have already downloaded it. So if I open the folder, so this is the file. Let's initiate the installation. Okay, so it's, it, it, uh, the screen represents with the welcome to the IG Ready Connect. Click on I agree. Continue. Okay, so now we have two options Express settings and customized settings. So, Express settings is going to uh, configure everything for you, which requires more hi higher account privileges. But the customized account will give us the, the custom options, more details, or the options which we can specify manually. So, let's click on the customize. Click on the install. Okay, now it will be represented with the user sign-in options. So we are going with the default option, password to password hash synchronization. So what exactly password hash synchronization will do? That your on-premises uh, user accounts passwords will be uh, synced to the uh, in the on Azure Active Directory in the form of the hash. So here is the option. So you can clearly see that you Azure AD Global Administrator or Hybrid Identity Administrator credentials are required. So I'm going to use the hybrid identity administrator credentials. Okay, so now it is asking me for the connect directories. So click on add directory. Okay, now we have an option to create the new AD account or use an existing AD account, which will be required to sync uh, the Azure AD to the or to the the on premise to the actual Azure Active Directory. Let's do that. I'm going to specify the option create new AD account. Click on OK. Select the forest. Next. Okay, so I can see that my endpointgeek.com website that the domain has already been verified, which I used to show you in the previous video. So uh, I have to click on continue without matching all UPN to verify domain. So manman.com is not yet added. Let's click on next. Okay, so we have an option to sync all domains and OUs or sync selected domains and OUs. So I'm going to use the second option as I don't want that all objects to be synced. So let's go with the selected uh, containers or use. So I'm going to be going with the computers, clients, and users. Click next. Now I'm on the identity users. I'm going with the default option. Click on next. Filtering options. So this is the very uh, the most important option I would say because this is represented only once. So the OUs or containers what we specified. Are going to be synced, the which I showed you in the domain OU filtering. But 
if we select the second option, so I selected. So if I select a group over here, only those devices which will, which are added to, to that specific group will be synced. So just be careful. Once you select, once you select with the first option, you will never be able to get the second option. So it's a one-time configuration. So this is good for if you're doing it in the non-plot. Let's go with the first option. Click next. So I'm going with the default option, the password hash synchronization as I explained you previously. So that will be used for on the Azure AD for the on-premises users and devices. Let's click next. Okay, so we are ready to configure. The moment I click on install, the start the synchronization process when configuration complete. So the synchronization will immediately begin after the installation. So our installation is complete. So we are going to do the hybrid edge ready configuration. But before that, let me just check the synchronization status. Let's click on the exit. I'm going to launch the synchronization service manager. Okay, so if I click on the connectors over here, so I can see the status of the connectors. So the connector is, is two way that the sync from the Azure Ready to the on premises, on premises to the Azure Ready. So if I wait for a couple of minutes, the sync will be completed. I can force the sync here also. If I right click, I can click on run. It's showing as full synchronization delta synchronization I have an option so by default the sync will happen every 30 minutes but we can change the option by using the sync tool so let me just initiate it again it might have initiated during the initial setup let's do it so if I go to the user if I refresh let's see the status now yep so you can see the user account have been created user 1 at endpoint gig and user 2 so I didn't change the suffix name, the domain name on the user account. So it means that's why it's showing as this setting. So for example, if I go over here, user two. So if I go to the account, if I change the user principal name over here, if I select endpointgeek.com. So in, during the next thing, it will be also going to show me that endpoint geek. That's it. So we are done with the installation of Azure AD Connect. Now we are going to configure the hybrid Azure AD. We are ready with the installation of hybrid Azure AD Connect configuration. So we can see the icon Azure AD Connect. Let's double click it. Click on configure. So we are going to make change it specifically into the configure device options for the hybrid Azure AD configuration. Click next. Click next. So we are it's giving us the option that overview on under that hybrid edge ready join and device right back. So again, it's giving us the option to log on to make the changes. Only the global administrator or hybrid edge identity administrator can log in to do the configuration. So we have an option to configure the hybrid edge ready join, configure device right back. So I'm going with the first option so that the I can do the hybrid edge ready join. If I go with the second option, the device right back means the, the changes what we are going to make for the user devices on the Azure will be writing back to the on premises. So that's not what we want. Click next. Uh, here, device operating system. We are going to select the option Windows 10 later domain. So the second is obviously not available. Okay, so we have to do the service connection point configuration for the device for the domain. So I have to click on the authentication service as Azure Active Directory and the enterprise admin is the one who can configure this option, the SCP configuration. Let's click on add. So our configuration has been accepted with the username and password. Click on next. configure 
So the configuration is complete. Now we are completely fully ready for the hybrid Azure AD join. So once the, if the configuration for the Azure Active Directory, Directory for the device setting is already there, then the devices can do the hybrid Azure AD join. Thank you so much. I hope you like the video and uh, it really makes a lot of sense for me. It motivates me if you like or subscribe. Thank you so much.